afternoon, school. Good afternoon, Mr. Dyer. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Good afternoon to everybody at home as well. This afternoon, we've got our Friday celebration assembly, which is slightly confusing for us all because, of course, it is Thursday afternoon. But tomorrow is a bank holiday. A bank holiday in this country for VE Day, for Victory in Europe Day. And that's why on Friday, that's why on Friday tomorrow, we will all be wearing red, white and blue. Lots of us will be at home having parties in our gardens, maybe some picnics. And we're celebrating 70, we're celebrating 75 years since Victory in Europe at the end of World War II. And 75 years is quite a long time. 75 years is older than you. 75 years is older than your dad. 75 years is it's older than your nan. 75 years is older than me. It's quite a long time ago. So why do we still remember it now? Why do we still celebrate it now? Well, it may seem like a long time ago, but actually, that is still within a lifetime. There are lots of people still alive today who remember the very first VE Day. So that's one reason. But the other reason is because of just how important it was. Our families would not look like they do today if it wasn't for the soldiers and the fighting and the big national effort that took place during World War II. 75 years ago, everyone in our country, everybody was involved in a big effort to defeat, to defeat something that really opposed what we believed in and our values. The country was under threat. It was under threat of invasion of people from another country invading this country. And that was the case for lots of countries all around the world. In particular, in particular, there was a threat to the things we believed in, like equality and democracy. But because of the big national effort, we were able to defeat that. And 75 years ago, there was victory throughout the continent of Europe the people who shared our values. And that's worth celebrating every year. In particular, as it's the 75th anniversary this year, we're celebrating it a lot. And before we move on to our celebration of values, cups and things, we're going to have a moment of silence to remember how important that was. And while we're all silently listening, We've asked a couple of girls from year six just to read a poem that was written by somebody about VE Day, by a man called Peter. So we're going to just have a couple of moments of silence now. We're going to listen to this poem, and that means you at home as well. Thank you. Girls, over to you. Some of them never came, come home to their fanfares. They dump their kits. Down, kit bags down at the door, kiss their wives and let their children wrestle them down to the kitchen floor, switch the telly on, pour out a whiskey, search for the local football school. Some of them skip the quayside welcome, dodge the bunting and cannonade, make their land foot fall in silent harbours, nod to the coast guard but evade the searchlight of public scrutiny, like those engaged in the smuggling trade. Some of them land at lonely airfields far removed from the celebration, hang their flying gear in a locker, cage a lift to the railway station, make for home and take for granted the short-lived thanks for a grateful nation. Some of them miss the royal salute, the victory parade along the mall, the fly past, the ships in formation passing in cheering crowds on the harbour wall, remembered only by friends and relatives. Some of them never come home at all. Thank you girls, and I hope that everybody will have a really fantastic time tomorrow doing whatever it is 
they are doing on Friday to celebrate the E-Day. OK, we've got a few Values Cups to give out as it's the end of a normal school week. So, there's a couple of people who aren't here and one person who is here. We'll start with the people who aren't here. We've got this one first of all. I'm going to give this Values Cup out for friendship, for our values of friendship. It goes to somebody at home. This person has been taking bits of material and using them to make little wash bags for people who work at the hospital. That's not part of our home learning, that's just something she thought would be a really valuable thing to do. And that shows our value of friendship. So can we have a big round of applause please for Year 5 for Kaylee? Well done Kaylee. There you go Kaylee. Our second Values Cup winner this week, you may have seen, you may have seen on our Facebook page or a little video of the flowers that have been planted in our farm area. We were very kindly donated the flowers by King's Garden Centre, so thank you to them. And we asked somebody in our community to oversee looking after that gardening part of the school and making it look fantastic. And that person was Mrs Wood. And as a result, I think she deserves our Values Cup for respect for our community. So a big round of applause for Mrs Wood, please. Well <laughs> and finally, Endeavour. Our Values Cup for Endeavour. I've been in a few times to school this week and every time I've been in, I've seen this person working hard on something. Sometimes it's been working hard sat at a table. Sometimes it's been working hard sat at a carpet, listening to their teacher. Sometimes it's been working hard on the playground, running around, involved in some sport. But he's always shown endeavour throughout. So a round of applause, please, to George. Well done, George. I can see George. So I can actually give him the place. Yep, come, George. I can put it there. He does. He's going to come and get it in a second. Well done, George. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I know you'll have a brilliant Friday tomorrow and then a really nice weekend. We'll see some of you back in school on Monday and then we'll see some of you again soon.